Behind every homeless person, there is a story. And in this woman's case, there's quite a story indeed. Hey, how, how are you? Doing? I found Susan Lewis, the daughter of late comic legend Jerry Lewis, in a parking lot in Philadelphia. She lives on the streets and carries her belongings around in shopping bags. What do you have in here, by the way? A um, little of everything. A little of yeah. everything? She spends most of her time at a local food court. It's cool in the summer, warm in the winter. Does it get lonely out here? Um, it can be. If you have to be in the street, you may as well have people around you so you don't feel isolated. I, I don't like feeling isolated. Hi. When she scrapes together some money, she buys a meal at a Chinese restaurant. Then it's back out on the street. People are going to ask, how did you end up here? How did you end up in the street? It's just something that happened. Susan was born out of wedlock back in the 1950s. Her mother, a beautiful model named Lynn Dixon, had a three-year affair with Jerry Lewis. DNA tests have established that there is an 88.7% certainty that Susan is Jerry Lewis's daughter. You grew up always believing that Jerry Lewis was your father. Well, yeah, he would see me whenever he could. On Susan's cell phone, there was a constant reminder of her heritage, Oops, this striking side-by-side -side image. Oh, oh, wow. No wow. Photoshop whatsoever. There's a resemblance. <laughs> you think? You a little cleft chin right there. She even does Jerry's zany shtick. Hey, lady! <laughs> Jerry Lewis never acknowledged Susan was his daughter. How did you hear that he had, that he had passed? Oh, uh, a friend had heard about it first. I, you know, we, we can't follow the news because we don't have a television. Jerry Lewis's estate is estimated at $50 million. Yet his daughter uses public restrooms and hotels and restaurants to wash up and even bathe. She gets around by bus and she uses a laundromat to clean her clothes. The sun's going down now. Yeah. What do you normally do in terms of trying to figure out where you're going to sleep? Well... When night falls, Susan heads to her storage locker. There, she keeps her possessions, including the stuff oh, the she'll need yeah. for the night. This is our cardboard house. David! Together with her good friend Dave, Susan heads out into the night. Their bed is a metal bench. A mattress is fashioned out of newspaper and cardboard. Here, they settle down for the night, hoping that tomorrow will be a better day. I just make the best of it, and there's no point in being negative all the time because then you'd be miserable. 